pretty good. Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I want to carve a green self bow out of this hazelnut stick that I just harvested. And hazelnut makes a good material for a quick survival bow. And today the challenge is that I only use my knife to make this bow, to carve the bow. Okay, before I start carving, I want to determine which side is the back and which is um, the belly. So the stick has a natural curve in it and I want to use that. See, the stick already bends a little bit, which is a good thing. Okay, so this is going to be the belly. I just carve a mark into the wood so I know that I have to carve at this side. Here. Yeah, so this should work. Okay guys, I already destroyed the one stick bow, so I have carved away too much wood at this point and I know that it's going to break here. So now what I'm doing is I cut off the limb here and this is going to be uh, upside down now. This is the handle and this is um, the end of the bow, so this way I can save the wood. Okay, now it's time to glue these parts together again. And today I'm using pine pitch, which I have made another day. And today I don't want to light a fire because it's very dry and I don't want to risk a forest fire. So I'm just taking this alcohol burner for safety reasons. Okay, first I want to heat up the parts that I want to glue together. I need some cordage for the bow and right now I'm here in a spruce forest and spruce roots actually make a very good cordage. So now I'm going to dig out some of these roots here.
okay I tilted the bow too much and now it's very light probably only five pounds so now I'm cutting off the limbs a little bit to gain more strength again Well guys, I have to say that I'm pretty proud of this bow here, the survival bow. Uh, next time I'm going to make a sinew out of natural materials. And I have a weak point in it, which is right here, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna work on that next time. And all in all, I have to say, I'm very happy with this bow. Uh, I estimate that it has about 25 to 30 pounds. I'm sure. Yeah. It's pretty strong, actually. It's a good bow. Um, I needed about two and a half to three hours, but that includes the filming. And yeah, this small bow is good enough to shoot hare, pheasants, squirrels, small stuff, porcupine, whatever you have in your country. Unfortunately, I can't hunt with a bow in my country. It's forbidden, but yeah. It's definitely a very awesome survival bow. Cool. Yeah, guys, so I want to thank you for watching. If you want to see more, I'm planning videos on uh, primitive arrows and a primitive quiver. So if you want to see that, subscribe to my channel and make sure that you follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Stay tuned until next time.